Hey YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to part 12. In today's video, we are going to continue where we left off in the previous video, which was creating API for speed test. We have actually implemented our interfaces um, and everything went good so far. So let's continue. In today's video, we're going to create API for this menu, the bottom menu and this activity menu. So without losing too much time, let's go ahead, let's go into our speed test and we're going to create a package. We're going to hold separate activities in separate packages. So um, this is going to be our menu. So we're going to call it menu for speed test. And then inside this menu, we're going to create our first class, which is going to be uh, holding the menu so we're going to call it menu and then the other class is going to hold menu object okay well let's call it menu ui object so we're going to start our work with the menu ui object so we're going to create oops we're going to create private static ui object um, variables that's going to hold this values right speed test result settings and about so we're gonna call this speed test results settings and about and we're gonna do some like this okay now we're gonna create a public um, method that's going to create our objects and it's going to create objects for the speed test. And then before we create it, we are going to check whether the speed test object is actually already exists or not. And if it's if it doesn't exist, then we're going to assign or we're going to create we're going to create it uh, using our UI selector. And I already checked there is no resource ID available, so I'm going to use text and we're going to make sure we use make UI object method to actually make it and then we're going to return speed test object to us and we're going to do the same thing for all of the other ones so i'm just going to copy and paste it to make it go faster and we're going to do something like this whoa don't want to do that all right now, I already checked um, over here, they all capital letters for results, settings, and about. So what we're going to do, we're just going to copy this in here. And then we're going to do this one ourselves. Uh, when you type in text <clears throat> by hand, you have to be very careful not to mistype anything because this can screw you over in the long run quite a bit. So. Pay special attention when typing this values in. Okay, uh, now we can go ahead and create a reference to our UI objects here. So we can say menu UI object, UI object equals new menu UI object. And here we're going to create a method. Uh, right now, these methods are not going to return anything, and the only thing those methods are going to do, they're going to tap on those buttons. So we're going to have a method that's going to tap on speed test, and we're going to say try, and inside the try, we're going to log some info out uh, to let us know what we're doing. So we're going to say tapping on the speed test button. Oh, speed test menu button and then we're going to tap into our UI object and gonna find that speed test button and we're going to tap on it now if we failed we're going to catch um, no such element exception it's the only one that we're really interested in because you know next thing we're going to do we're going to throw new assertion error and because we caught no such um, no such element exception we can be sure that the element is not on the screen right so we're gonna say can't tap 
speed test button element um, element absent or blocked maybe sometimes you can get like a dialog popped up in foreground and then you can't see the element so uh, so we're gonna leave it at that and we're gonna create separate methods for uh, tapping results so here we're gonna say results menu button can tap speed test button can tap results button make sure we change this to results as well and then we have settings so we're going to change this to settings whoops make sure we change that to settings as well and then here we have about so copy paste and change that to about as well so that's good now let's go ahead and add this menu api to our speed test class so what we're going to do we're going to create a public variable that's going to hold our menu and it's going to be called menu equal to new uh, new menu so now what we can do for example if you go into our runner we can call our android app speed test and then we can say I want to go into menu and I want to tap something and we can choose what we want to tap or we can also have access to our uh, UI objects from here as well uh, for example our menu API only allows us to tap on something and you know say we need to do something outside of that but we don't have a method developed yet so we can tap into UI object and then you can say I'm interested in speed test UI object and here we can then do a lot more with it right we can actually wait for it we can check if it exists and we can even tap on it from here as well so that's pretty useful and flexible uh, so now that we have our menu uh, we're going to follow the same uh, procedure to create API for uh, for this screen right here and uh, I'm gonna call this home I think uh, let's call it home probably not exactly correct but whatever um, so home creating home class now we're gonna create another uh, home UI object class and again we're going to start working with the home UI object class by creating uh, private static UI object variables and they are going to be holding a bit more stuff we're going to have ping we're going to have download we're going to have upload we're going to have ping speed we're going to have um, download speed let's make sure we don't misspell anything then we're gonna have upload speed uh, we're gonna have test again button uh, I think there is like upgrade to remove ads uh, remove ads button let's just put it all in there remove ads button and be consistent capitalize this <clears throat> what else we have we have share button we have the logo in there okay let's go ahead and put that in share button logo okay that's enough uh, let's go ahead and create some public uh, methods to create our UI object just to make it look pretty let's indent it and say ping so we're going to create ping here and again we're going to check if ping is already created or not and if ping is not created then we're going to create new uh, we're going to use UI selector to create it and in this case we can actually use resource ID and then we need to make sure that we actually make UI object from this and then we're going to return it 
we're going to return a UI object. And one more thing, because we're using resource ID, uh, well, let me just show you. Let's see our ping. All right, so we're going to copy this. This package ID, you know, it's going to be in every single resource ID that we reference here, right? So instead of referencing it like this, which is like hard coded stuff, um, in a lot of places, that's not good when you have a lot of stuff hard coded like this in a lot of different places. It's better to have a hard coded stuff like this in one place. And guess what? We already have it. If you go to our Android app, speed test we have our package id right there which is the, the exactly the same value right boom good so now if package id changes for whatever reason we only have to change it in one place and then everything um, it's going to be fixed everywhere else that it's referenced in so with that said let's go ahead and do a lot of pasting Maybe that's a little too much. Okay. Space download in here. Let's get upload. Um, oops, actually, you know what? Uh, this is going to be kind of difficult to edit later. I'm going to do it this way. Just going to be a little bit faster. Uh, changing the values later. So just lots of copy and pasting. Fun times. Logo. Almost got it right. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get the resource IDs in here for all of this stuff. Oh, by the way, uh, ping, like ping and ping speed are different, right? We have ping is this label over here, and ping speed is actual the uh, value for the speed. So make sure you are aware of it. Uh, so, okay, we have speed and we have download over here. Upload. And then we have the ping speed. And we got download speed. Upload speed. Okay, test again button. We're getting there. Remove ads. Oh, actually, I think this is the same ID. Mm, yeah, this is the same ID, not good. So, can we use button text? Button text. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to use text here. Uh, test again button, we're gonna use text. Because those buttons are uh, have the same ID. Remove ads. And then the last one is the share button. Now what we're going to do is, as I told you, we're going to switch uh, from using this hard-coded stuff to our uh, speed test package ID. Okay. So awesome. Now we can go to home and we can create a reference to our um, home UI object. And we're going to call it UI object. So new home UI object. And over here, I'm not going to create too many methods. I'm just going to create our basic uh, methods 
Uh, and if you guys want to create more, feel free to do so. But I'm just going to create the ones that return stuff. So um, let's do public string uh, get ping speed. And we're going to follow the same approach. We're going to wrap this into try catch. And we're going to catch no such element exception. And then if that's the case, we're going to throw assertion exception. Uh, we can't get ping speed element absent or blocked. Okay, and then here we're going to log some info on the screen about what we're trying to do. So getting ping speed. And then we're going to tap into our UI object and we're going to find our ping speed and we're going to get text from it. And then we are going to return it. <clears throat> now we're going to do similar stuff for download and upload. So we're going to say get download, get download speed. Change this to download speed, change this to upload speed, change the name to get upload speed, copy that, change the logs. Okay, <clears throat> now we can create a, another method to uh, tap test again button. And this one actually going to return home. After the test is done, right, we're going to be at the same screen. So I'm uh, going to say tap test uh, again. And we're going to wrap this in try catch as well. And just say can't. If, if we do catch an exception, we're going to say can't tap test again button element absent or blocked okay and otherwise we're gonna <clears throat> uh, we are going to tap into our UI objects we're gonna find our test again button we're gonna tap on it and then we know when we tap on it, we have to wait for it to disappear. So we're going to wait for like five seconds and then we're going to wait for it to appear for about 120 seconds. Uh, once that's done, we are going to return home. So then we're going to say return this and then make sure we have a log entry for this operation. Uh, so info and we're going to say tapping. Um, test again button all right now we need to add this API to our speed test so we're gonna say public home and that's gonna be our home activity and this is gonna be new home all right so I think we're going to stop here for this video. Uh, feel free to go ahead and, you know, create more API for uh, for the uh, the rest of this activities. Uh, see if you can do it. I'm actually not going to create uh, API for the settings because there is some sensitive information there. So uh, if you want, you can go ahead and try uh, settings on your own and see what you can do. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm done here. <laughs> That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to like it, subscribe, and spread the word. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Take care.